In this video, I will consider one example to implement Boolean function using 8 is to 1 max and 4 is to 1 max. Implement the function f of a, b, c, d is equal to. So here min terms are given using 8 is to 1 max with a, b, c as select lines. 4 is to 1 max as a, b as select lines. So this is the given Boolean function. We have to implement this using 8 is to 1 max where we should consider a, b, c as in as select lines and in another case we supposed to use 4 is to 1 max where we should use a, b as select lines. As we know here a, b, c, d are given these supposed to be used as select lines. These are nothing but select lines but in first case we supposed to use 8 is to 1 max where we should use only a, b, c as select lines. In that case we supposed to use d as a data line. Now let me consider the first case first. Let me use 8 is to 1 max where I will consider A, B, C as select lines. So in that case D can be used as D can be used as data line. So for understanding purpose first I will write all possible inputs with four variables that is A, B, C, D. We know that it is 0, 0, 0, 0. We have four variables A, B, C, D. That is for min term 0. For 1, it will be 0, 0, 0, 1. For 2, it is represented as 0, 0, 1, 0. For 3, 0, 0, 1, 1. 4, 0, 1, 0, 0. 5, 0, 1, 0, 1. 6, 0, 1, 1, 0. 7 0 1 1 1 8 1 0 0 0 9 1 0 0 1 10 as 1 0 1 0 11 as 1 0 1 1 12 is 1 1 0 0 13 1 1 0 1 14 1 1 1 0 and finally 15 is 1 1 1 1. So these are the possible values with four variables. Now let me see the given main terms are we have 0 1 5 6 7 9 10 15. So for these main terms the output function is 1 or high. So let me write that 0 1 5 so for 0 1 5 6 the output is high. Then we have 7, 9, 10. That is 7, 9 and 10. Then we have 15 and we have 15. For other cases the value is 0. So this is the truth table with respect to given function. So here we supposed to implement this using 8 is to 1 max. So this is the 8 is to 1 max. In 8 is to 1 max we have 3 select lines because 2 power 3 is 8. We have 8 data lines and 3 select lines. So here, here I will assume A, B, C are select lines. That this is A, B, C. These are select lines. So here I will use D as a, a data line. So this, so now we have to write the implementation table. Implementation table. So in implementation table first write the possible data lines. So here the data lines are D02, D7. Let me write that. That is so this is data line 0, D1, D2, D3, D4, D5, D6 and D7. So in implementation table write the data lines here like this. D2, D3, D4, D5, D6 and D7. So here as I said A, B, C are the select lines. D is supposed to be used as data line. So here we can observe in D column alternately there is 0 and 1. So here we can observe that for 0 it is 0, for 2 it is 0, for 4 it is 0. For 6 it is 0 that is for all even values d value is 0 for all odd values d value is 1. 
So now let me take this data line as one column I will use for D bar, another column I will use for D. So D and D bar as nothing but the data lines. So here, as I said, for even values, the value of D is zero. So value of D equal to zero means what? It is D bar. For one, it will be D. So now I can write it as zero. Here I can write this is two. As I said here, zero, it is zero. For two, it is zero. So this entire column is for zeros. So here it is zero for even values. So it is zero, one, two, three. It is four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. These are all possible min terms. So here for D bar, that is zero. is present in even values and d that is one present in odd values so the next step is here we supposed to mark the given min terms so here the given min terms are 0 1 5 6 6 so 0 1 here we have 0 put the circle for this and here one put the circle for this so wherever there is a one in output function that is for 5 and 6 it is one That is also given in the min term. Five and six. Put circle for five and six. Similarly, put circle for seven and nine. This is seven, nine. Then we have ten, fifteen. We have ten, and here we have fifteen. So now, after writing the implementation table, so here we can see that in this row there is a circle for. Both the values. In that case, the value of this one will be d plus d bar. That is, d plus d bar. We know that d plus d bar will be equal to one. So here, both the values are not circled. So its value is zero. So here it is circle for the column d. So its value is d. Here both values are circled. So its value is again one. So here it is circle for nine. It is corresponding to the column d. So its value is d. Here ten is circle. It is with respect to column d bar, right? D bar here. So here twelve, thirteen are not circled. It is zero. So here at fifteen is nothing but d. So that is if both the values are circled, then its value is one. If both the circles are not circled, its value is zero. Then depending on the column which value is circled, we suppose to write d and d bar. Now according to this. Table, we can see that d not value is one. So d not value, this this line should be connected to active high, or it should be connected to logic high. So here we can see that d not and d three are connected to logic high. So let me take d not and d three. So this is d three. So these two lines are connected to logic one. So now d1 is zero and d6 are zero. So d1 and d6 are connected to zero. Let me connect d1 and d6. So this is d1 and d6. D6 are connected to ground. It means ground means what? Logic zero. Similarly, now d2 is connected to d. So this d2 line is connected to d. let me take another color so this d2 line is connected to d let me take it as d similarly d4 line is connected to d so this is d4 line this is connected to d like this similarly d5 line is connected to d bar so this is d i will pass through the inverter the value of this is d bar so it is connected to d5 it is connected to d5 so then d6 is already connected to ground that is logic 0 and d7 is connected to d that is d7 is connected to d so d is here thus we have implemented the given boolean function using 8 is to 1 max where we have considered a b as select lines 
C and D as data lines. Now let me consider the second case. Now let me implement the same function using 4 is to 1 max. This is the given function. We suppose to implement this using 4 is to 1 max. So here it is said that A and B, here we have 4 variables that is A, B, C and D. Among A, B, C, D, we suppose to use A, B as select lines. These two variables should be used as select lines. C and D. So in that case, C and D should be used as data lines. So here the data lines are two variables. So with the help of two variables, the possible values are four. That is, we know that uh, C may be zero, D may be zero, zero, one, one, zero, one, one. These are the possible data values, zero, 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 one, one, zero, or one, one. In terms of variable, we can write it as C bar, D bar, C bar, D, C, D bar, and C, D. So here, first we have to write the implementation table. So for 4 is to 1 max, we know that it has 4 inputs. The 4 data lines are D0, D1, D2, D3. So as said here, the select lines are A and B. So here, we have to write the data lines values that is D0, D1, D2, D3 like this. And we have to use C and D as a data line. So that can be written here. So with respect to this, 0, 0 is nothing but C bar, D bar, 0, 1 is nothing but C bar, D, then we have C, D bar, C, D bar, then we have C, D. So after writing these variables, now write all possible min terms, that is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15, like this. So now, look at the given function. These are the min terms. So for these min terms, the output value is 1. So now, for these min terms, put the circle in this implementation table. This is implementation table. Implementation table. So here, 0, 1, 5, 6 put the circle like this 0 1 5 6 we have 7 9 10 and 15 so after this along with the row so for d not line the circled values are 0 and 1 the corresponding data line values are c bar d bar and c bar d this should be added up that is c bar t bar plus c bar d C bar D. So this can be written as I'll take C bar common here. It will be D bar plus D. So D bar plus D is nothing but 1. So the value is C bar. So for D naught, we have to connect C bar value. Similarly, for D1, we have 5, 6, 7. For 5, the values are we have C bar D plus C D bar and here we have plus cd let me simplify this so here c bar d and cd in that i can take d common c bar plus c here we have c d bar c d bar let me simplify this further c plus c bar is nothing but one that is d we have c plus d bar further this can be written as C plus D by distributive law, D plus D bar, which is nothing but C plus D because D plus D bar is equal to 1. So for D1, we have to connect C plus D. Similarly, now consider D2 line where 9 and 10, that is C bar D plus C D bar. C bar D plus C D bar. So this is nothing but C X or D. We can use one XOR gate that should be connected to D2. Finally, we have D3 is nothing but CD. So this is CD. So now I will show you how to implement this using 4 is. So for D0 line, we have to connect C bar. So this is D0 line. Let me take this as C. The output 
connect this to inverter output of this is c bar connect this c bar to d not line likewise here d1 is nothing but c plus d so to d1 c plus d is connected so this is a d1 c plus d means we have to take one or gate one input is c and another input is d the output of this is connected to d1 similarly d2 is nothing but c x or d so take one xor gate so one input is c i'll take from here another input is d so output of this is connected to d2 line similarly d3 is nothing but cd so for cd we should use one and gate let me take one and gate the one input is c that is c another input is d output of this is cd is connected to d3 so here we can use active low enable zero so when a and b are zero zero then d not line is connected when it is zero one d one line is connected so when a b are zero zero then d not line is connected to f in that case output is c bar when it is zero one d1 is connected to f in that case its value is c plus d when it is 1 0 d2 is connected to f which is nothing but c x or d the when it is 1 1 c and d that is c d d3 line is connected to f which is nothing but ending operation between c and d thank you for watching